Armando and I scream and sound like farts. Is that Armando? Did you say Armando? Um, it's Armando with an e. Armando. 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 And I play bass and scream and uh, yeah. And that's about it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else I do. You nap a lot. I pretend to play <laughs> drums sometimes too. I'm Spencer. I, I do the singing and I play bass when he doesn't, which is all the time. Yeah, he's, he's not a good bass player at all. That is true. So you've been actually touring for how many years, months now? Uh, our first tour was what, November? Was it 2014 or was it 2013? It was uh, 14. 14, 14 for sure, so yeah. And you've drove yeah, yourself right. the entire yep, time. Yep, 14, yep. Yeah. Yep. What yeah. is the weirdest thing you've ever seen on the side of the road? <laughs> on the side of the road? Uh, on the side of the road? Oh, that's a good one. I mean, mostly, I, I remember... It's just when you're driving mm. and you just see fuck like a deer just come up like, hey, what's up? And you're like, that's fuck. a little bit more frightening. No, but we've seen like big paper mache animals like dinosaurs and whatnot, uh, like signs to flea markets. Usually there's a lot of Americana style uh, like attractions, side side highway attractions that we've come across. That's probably like, the only thing that's stuck in my but mind is on the side of the road. If you want something that wasn't on the side of the road, but like. The park behind us, there was like a very drugged, she was like a crackhead, it's an old, like a black lady, and she was like asking us weird questions that she was not into. Oh, yeah, while like, we were parked? She was so gone. She came up to us, we were just chilling in a Walmart parking lot, she came up to us and started talking to one of us, I think it might have been Nikhil, and he responded, like honestly, and she's like, alright, I'm not talking to you, and she just kept hanging out with us, like going like, for 30 minutes, it was so uncomfortable. Is, is this blue? This is blue, right? Oh. And it's, it says purified water. Does it say purified water? No, it's just safe to drink. Yeah. <laughs> you sure I can have this? What's the catch? <laughs> she was so good. Um, you know the government <laughs> is listening <laughs> right now through this purified water. <laughs> so what is the most like dangerous, genuinely thought you were going to die city or situation you've been in? Dude, every time... One of our old members now would drive, we've had like pretty reckless drivers, so they just go like, like it's, it could be like a 40 zone and they just go like 70 all the time and you're like, please don't. And it's like, I, the roads are icy and you're like, fuck, what am I, please stop, stop. Or it's just crazy. We've had like crazy drivers. Yeah. Well, that can make for trailer fish tail too. Yeah. yeah. Has to. Driving in the snow, pretty much the most scary thing to, to me about tour is just the driving. When you're not driving, because I'm a really good driver, I'm like everyone else, yeah. except and me. <laughs> but no, it's just uh, it's very driving is very unpredictable. It can be very dangerous, especially when you're carrying like you know one ton vehicle with you know a couple thousand pound trailer behind you. It can be with very expensive well, equipment in it. That yeah, you don't oh yeah, lose. yeah, a couple thousand dollars worth of gear in there, and and you got people sleeping in the back of the ride that you're in, so you just don't want to wreck, because this is gonna be bad news. You for everybody. Yeah, you're not you're only fucking yourself up, but you're fucking everybody else. Like mm -hmm. six other people. And you're probably killing the tour, depending yeah. on, you know, the wreck. Have you ever had anything stolen out of your van? No. Not that I know. No, I don't think we've had any thefts yet. Um, we usually try to be safe about the whole thing. Yeah, we're we pretty paranoid. Uh, we have some heavy-duty locks and, and stuff. We also pretty much hang out by the van all the time. Like, if we get hotels and whatnot, somebody's always usually crashing in the van. Um, but, no, you, usually we'll leave things behind. We're notorious for, like, accidentally leaving that something behind. That has happened behind. so many we're on, times. We're on, like, we bring mic stands with us, so this is, like, we're on our third or fourth mic stand. I forget, but I think we're on our third, to be honest. Yeah. And then sometimes you get the venues and the hotels that have cooperated and be like, yeah, we found it. And then there's the ones that, like, the maid kept it or, you know. 
Uh, yeah, it's just we we just accept defeat sometimes when we're just like, all right, it's lost. Gotta sometimes it's on. like we don't want to drive like five hours just for some mic stands. It's like by that point, it's cheaper just to buy new ones instead of uh, going all the way back. One time we did lose like merch. We left it at the venue. And we ended up driving an extra five hours back. It, it and then killed. We had a day off the next day, and it pretty much killed that day off after that show. So. It was so sad. But, I mean, we had to because that was one of the few things that I was like, okay, we do need to get this back. Yeah. Yeah. What is the, depending on which side of the situation, you're on, worst or best tour prank you've ever been a victim or played? You know, we haven't really been a part of any tour pranks per se. I mean, we kind of joke around with each other in the van a little I don't know, per se, any pranks? I can't think of anything. Yeah, we haven't really been pranked. I mean, we've been on a few tours, but I don't think any bands that are, like, that crazy with the pranking. Maybe we have been pranked, and we still haven't figured it out. <laughs> so that's Maybe very Maybe somebody took a shit inside the van, and we just never found out. We just went it in Germany. Yeah. We just go, Jeremy! <laughs> just smell and they kill your shoes. But in reality, somebody just took, like, fermented a big a shit. Dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't think we've ever been pranked before. I mean, I'm, I'd like to keep that record going. Huh? Pranks can be well, pretty... Well, I mean, now that you said it, you just I know, right? I mean, the, the most thing that has happened, I don't know if it's even considered a prank, but, like, uh, we were playing with uh, It Lies Within and Darkness Divided, and by the last set, we were, like, we all went on stage and Darkness Divided just brought, like, a, a bunch of donuts and then just started feeding it to everybody <laughs> in the van. Yeah, that was on stage. I remember we, we that. We more have jokes between each other. Like we, we yeah. anytime we're on on tour with a band, we always try to steal a line or two of theirs and call them out on it. And then they do the same. Oh yeah, I always do that. By the last day, I always, oh, I always quote one thing. Every, every band has like that, say. like the the verbiage that they say while they're on stage. And we'll we'll always steal one line from another band, and and repeat it at the show. So yeah. Well, and one nice thing about smaller tours is I feel like the fans have a little more. Because like last time I saw you guys at Blue Angel, we're out with Bless the Fallen. So those kind of bigger tours like that, they keep it so regimented. Yeah, I, it's it's just like with a big tour like that, you kind of you kind of just gotta stick to your schedule. Uh, and I feel a lot like there's a lot more in the line, you know, because there's bigger, way bigger crowds and uh, a lot more people yeah. doing stuff. Uh, so you just gotta always make sure you don't like mess up, and you always like. We're not late for anything yeah. or anything wrong is happening. But uh, this one's is a little bit nicer and we get to meet new people and everybody's super nice. I mean, not saying that nobody in the other tour was nice because they were all very nice people. It's just uh, there's definitely a big difference. Going yeah. from just a in the vibe, line. the vibe is just def definitely different. It's a lot, a lot more carefree and laid back. It's, I mean, it's just basically just the bands. There's no real crew. So yeah. those older bands like that are like, more reserved I think because they've been in the industry longer and, and long enough to just hate everybody yeah, yeah I think they're a little bit more jaded on they're, they're past the enjoyment of just being in a band and playing <laughs> around the country I don't know I hope I hope it, I hope I never get that way because that's that's like the whole reason why I love to do this is just to see the world and meet people and just have fun man at the end of the day this is supposed to be fun it's a lot yeah. of work touch bandmates but yeah <laughs> that's all I do always try and grab butts from the other bands and, and everybody's usually into it, so. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favorite band you've toured with so far? Uh, that's, that's a good question. Top one. I mean, as far as, like, crowds and all that stuff, I think the, the, the Bless of Fall one was the best one because we had so many people. Yes. But as far as, like, interacting with the, the other bands, that's a very tough one. I really like the one we had with uh, It Lies Within and Dark Dark Divided. I mean, so so far this one with divisions is going really good. Yeah. They're really chill guys. They're really we're really outgoing and personable guys. We have no problem just like growing down and and coming up to complete strangers and picking up conversations, doing wacky, stupid shit. And uh, so far, what is this day two or three with three with them? I think, and uh, they're we're pretty much just like us. We already want to make out with them. Yep, <laughs> couldn't have said it any better yeah. myself. Yeah. You guys look like a lot more of a, a vibrant band and personality. Yeah. Than I think that's why you've kind of grown really fast and have really dedicated fans. But Thank you. I would you, hope so. Thank you. <laughs> have you ever had stalker fans that just got way too out of hand? Um, not to the point where we're not, like. Not sadly. I yeah. wish. I wish <laughs> I, I had some. If you want to stalk us, please do so because I would love to. I see think. That. I think if our fans are on the stalkerish level, 
they they manage themselves for now. Um, I don't think we've really had any trouble. We've had we've had like a couple passionate fans, but the I mean, I don't know if it's just because it's us, but I don't feel like it ever gets too out of hand. I always think yeah. like it's nice to have somebody that like is, is probably uh, is as passionate as you can be about your own band. So I it's I learned refreshing. to appreciate all that stuff. Like we have a fan um, in Michigan. And she always goes to every one of her shows. She always draws stuff for us, and like, mm -hmm. she's super nice. She made and, us a and jar. Yeah, she's so happy nice. Happy quotes and stuff. And like, th those are things that at least we all consider that it's like so nice to be getting from people. So it's I don't know. It's, we I, maybe it. we just don't. We notice, love it when you guys you know, stop but us. But I just, <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. You're I guess. not at like girlfriends getting death threats level yet. Yeah, no, no, no. Yet. No, uh, I mean, yeah. there's there's been some friction between some fans and whatnot, but no, nothing like, nothing out of, out of hand, I would say. Yeah. Nothing completely stalkerish. Sadly. Yet. Sadly. Not yet. Sadly. You're out there. We I will, hope. We will find you. Or find us. We have a very <laughs> specific set of skills, and we will use them and find you. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like the sad thing in this generation is, a sign of making as a band is when you have like stalkers and fan fiction is it? and shit like that. Yes. <laughs> fanfic? Oh, that's that's when you're famous. Is when you have fanfic, man. We should just start writing our own. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna Armando make a fake caresses robot. Spencer's face <laughs> with his left hand so delicately. He approached the van slowly but gently. He started touching the van, the actual vehicle. I don't know why. <laughs> he, he just, just wanted had to a express himself. He had a sexual desire for vehicles. I mean, if you're writing it about yourself, though, it's not really fan fiction. It's <laughs> no, just true. Well, we what, are what, what, of what if music. I write it about Spencer and Jeremy? You are a fan of the band, though. I mean, we, we do like listening to our own music, and we do like playing our own music. So, I mean, we're, But we're you can't cool. be a fan of yourself, though. You can't? Oh, man. Tell, tell Kanye West that. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> tell Kanye West. You can't be a fan of yourself, apparently. <laughs> Have any um, like guilty pleasure music? Any pop music you like? Armando. Oh, uh, that's not guilty at all to me. I, I'm always jamming. Uh, Jay Beebs. Just to be the new like. record, dude. Skrillex, Skrillex, and uh, who was it? There's three, three EDM producers that kind of worked I didn't on even it. No, but the, it was so good. Uh, Skrillex. He did the one with the What do you mean? It's uh, oh, God, I'm blanking on his name. And then there was another one. <laughs> that you don't know. I no, I, it was I'm that guy. On. Yeah, it was and the, the guy other did, guy. Is the guy who did what, what do you mean? He's got the umlauts over the. I think it's over his U's. I think that's what it is. He's got the two dots and the U. I, I'm pretty sure something like that is popping into my head. I could be totally wrong. I Please think, comment think, below how was, wrong I am. If I think I am. it was Urmando. Urmando? <laughs> yeah, it's my artistic DJ name. <laughs> no, um, that one. I love the weekend. Uh, you like the 1975? I do. I enjoy the night. Ed one. Sheeran. Ed Sheeran's pretty much yeah. my pop icon. And, uh, but I also go and then listen to a new Kanye West album. I love it. Kendrick I Lamar. Is I that considered Kendrick a guilty Lamar. pleasure for you? Dude, nothing is a guilty pressure to me. Jeremy. We have Jeremy just listens to all Disney music <laughs> all oh, the time. Yeah. And he, he'll sing it really obnoxiously, too. Uh, it's beautiful. He like was singing, how old? Like Cinderella old? Or like like Lion King? Anything, anything. anything. Yeah, he goes it on it Spotify. Anything. He goes on Spotify and just uh, gets No, he goes on uh, Google Play. I think that's what it's okay. called. And he it's just like picks the, the station thing. and then just plays stuff. Finds Hakuna, Ma record. Hakuna Matata. What else did he play? Uh, out loud in the band? There was yeah. Mulan. Oh, yeah. And I join him sometimes. <laughs> I only know a few ones, so I just got to pull up Hercules, Lion King... Pretty much all the classics. Uh, I enjoy it though. I mean, I feel like it brings like a good air fresh like mixture. A, yeah, to like the whole thing. Cause I mean, you out here like listening to bands and you're like, I mean, not saying they're bad, but they're always like just go like you go to a show that's all like, and then so like when you're in the van, you're like, I need I need like a little palate break cleanser. from that. Yeah, palate cleanser. So I just go from like a lot softer stuff. Like alternative you need rock, the, like, yeah. The type of band. Yeah, I need, I need, I need some games. Yeah, like we'll, we'll we'll play a fun game called "Is this Circus Survive or is this Hail the Sun?" So if you know either, because <laughs> I love bands, them both. Dude, if I you know either them. those two bands, and I know Ki I know Circus Survive mainly. Someone said like Kanye West. <laughs> I know, I know Circus. I know Survive Kanye West. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'll always joke and be like, "Yo, is this Drake?" I love Drake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've been jamming the new Drake album, and uh, I don't like Drake though. I love Drake. I'll, I'll just joke when he's playing Kanye West. Like, oh, this is such. 
This is so good. This is this a new Jay Z? Yeah. <laughs> if you could only play three albums in advance of an entire tour, what's your Oh name? my god, I would probably kill myself before <laughs> the whole tour ends, but uh it depends. I would probably be like the newest ones out of every band that I cause like I, I would do Sam Paternal, um I'd probably do I would probably say for me it would be On Letting Go by Circus Survive. Yep. Um, I, this, I, is I tough. this is tough. This is tough. Just one. three al- three albums. You can't just pick a couple songs off of something else. Like just make a playlist. And no, a I, would pro- I would probably do that. The new. I mean, you could always Kanye go West with like album. the mixed albums, like the Warped mixes and. What? Oh, I would man, do, I don't no, know the extent. I'd stick on, to my to my. Kanye West or like any <laughs> Kanye West uh, what was the other one I said On Letting Go and then just when I want something heavy I'd probably like Nocturnal by The Black Dolly Murder because I love them too those are my three what would you pick Spencer? I'd do Sem Paternal Bring Me the Horizon I'm, I'm gonna do a little throwback I'd do uh, The Self Titled by yeah, yeah, I'll go with the. I think it's the self-titled by the used. I forget which one I don't like you the like, most. Uh, I kind of like kids, all kids. those. I was thinking about that too. I don't know if I could listen because I could listen to the like the used. Like, uh, man, I could li- literally, literally listen to their whole. I could literally just listen to the used for an entire tour as long as I had the whole discography. Well, it's one of those things that you have to like also consider what's going to not drive your fan base crazy too. Yeah, but fuck them. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we all have if, our own like. Yeah, if you're the one during we... the six hour drive. Okay. Oh wait, is the question is the question is like, what would the whole band listen yeah. to you through? Oh, the whole band. Ooh. That's even tougher because we have such an eclectic palette of music. Like Jeremy it's... would be like a Disney album, and then Nick would be like a Between the Barrier. No, me well, because Jeremy could go like Emir and uh, uh, was it Bleeding Through? Was the riff he always plays? Is that Bleeding Through? No, he plays uh, As Blood Runs Black. There you go. Another and, 2006 yeah. band. Uh, like, just a whole bunch of mixer. We, we, we like way too different music at, yeah. at different times. So, literally, you could come into the van at any the same time every day, and it could literally be something different, just depending on who's driving, what, what mood we're in. We listen to literally everything. Like, yeah. You, you won't probably won't ever see us jam country or blues. I mean, maybe some bluesy stuff. Like, uh, you were playing some uh, the other day. Alabama Shakes. Yeah. We listen to Alabama pretty much shakes. everything. So good. Uh, oh, that's a good album. Damn. I should have picked I know, that dude. one. <laughs> for the whole band, that that's that's we'd have to think about that one like for a week. <laughs> have you um, ever accidentally injured a fan? Injured? I don't think so. <laughs> I know. We don't really get that wild on stage. No. We I mean, we, we go somebody. hard, but <laughs> maybe we should start throwing like random kicks. <laughs> Just start throwing Whoops. water bottles at people. Sorry. No Ronnie Radke shit yet. No, no dude. No, I don't no. think I could. I don't think I'd ever want to get to dude, that I point. Dude, I don't even, I can't even punch a person. Like, I would feel bad. I've never gotten in a fight, so I'd be like, sorry, sorry. I'm like, without even touching. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever injured each other? Uh, yeah, we'll whack each other with each other's, like, headstocks and whatnot. That has or, happened. Or, like, one, we'll just, like, bump into each other. Of, we're like, fuck. One of our first tours, I was playing, uh guitar and I was like head banging and somehow I just like whacked the shit out of Spencer. It was me? Yeah. Oh man. I don't remember how it happened but I just went like Gling. I went up and I was like Gling. fuck and I'm like sorry sorry. That was one of the that first hurts tours. More than you think it yeah was we like we like mosh each other on stage sometimes. I stepped on Jeremy's foot <laughs> yesterday actually and I tapped on the kill dick but that was on purpose so <laughs> <laughs> it was an intentional move. Yeah that was yeah. Oh, yes, but I give him kisses sometimes on stage too. I was gonna say the show's gonna start in four minutes. This, I mean, we're good to go as long as we want. Um, okay, uh, you guys mentioned your music video. Is there any specific memories from filming it that you? Oh should? God! Well, just oh, as a precursor, God. just as a precursor, uh, this is a, a music video for our song "Slave" off our new album "Believe," and um, it's a very, it's very visually stimulating. Uh, I won't say too much about it until it's released. I'm just gonna say one thing. It was very cold and very hot at one point. <laughs> yeah, it, just watch the video and and maybe you can kind of guess the trials that we went through. Uh, just the environment is pretty. Nature is a very cruel thing. Uh, it it's very sucks. beautiful too, but it sucks. Yeah. Would you rather the cold or the hot? Definitely the cold was better for me. I would like the hot. I don't know. It's it's bad either way to be honest. 
at the end of one, my my skin was like hurting because I was like, I'm uh, my skin is so sensitive. So like by the time one of them was like the sh shoots were done, I was like, I hate my life. This hurts so much. But in the uh, there was some like the, in the cold moments where like, fuck, I'm freezing so much, freezing so yeah. like run. It was it was definitely a trial to just to do the shoots like even as a whole. Uh, but I mean, I, I think just the culmination of the sacrifice of the personal like torment for the time that we did it was was worth it. And it looks it looks really well done. I'm really proud of Jeremy putting it all together. The yeah. transitions are pretty dope. I'm, Jeremy I'm really like excited. That. Like, I'm, I'm afraid to be honest, because like this video is probably the best video we could ever do by ourselves. Like, we're gonna need some money people to to do a, a video better than it this. It was true money. Cause like we literally spent like just a couple hundred bucks. We uh, borrowed cameras. We you know did what we could, and we uh, we do all of our shit our own selves. And we pretty much didn't spend any money on any of this like that we could. And uh, I, mean, we I don't know. Spend money, but yeah. the least that we could. It, it um it was just a kind of it's kind of astounding. Hopefully you guys are pretty dumbfounded too, just how like beautiful it looks just from how we did it. I hope the mic isn't picking up the copyright music in the next room either. No, it it's so quiet. It's so quiet. You'd be surprised. If not, just replace it for a fart noise. So like every uh, time there's like nothing, just like yeah. I mean, we have pack tracks that go on our interviews, so. Okay. Yeah. It should be nice fine. and quiet in the, in the underneath. What are you gonna play? Are you gonna play like a Justin Bieber song just to throw people no, off? Our back tracks are provided by Microphone Number McCuffey. That is their only love. Okay. Oh, so. nice. He's a really nice guy. So, is there any last random facts you would like to share with your fans before we go? Definitely, if you've never heard anything about us before, please make fun Don't of us. Don't start. On the, Don't even. Please start. make fun of us on the internet. Check out awwmusic.com. Do uh, not check it. No, no, don't yeah. check it. Just literally go to our Facebook page and make fun of us. Add us on Twitter. Make fun of us. Add us on Instagram. Make fun of us. Add we us love it when you make fun of us, you guys. Oh yeah, yeah add us to Snapchat. Snapchat too. Send us dick pics because we hate them. <laughs> Yes, we hate them so much. <laughs> we'll put all of your links. I get one a day, you know. It's never enough. I mean, it's too many. Too many. I hate them. I get when chicks get it, but why would guys send you? Uh, you know, gay guys are really aggressive. I'm not poking out gay people on, as a whole, but some gay guys are just really, they're like aggressive as some straight guys, and they'll just be like, yo, come on, look at my dick. You want Did you it. look at my dick? You need to look at my dick. That, that, and that's you kind might of have a, missed it yesterday, so here's six yeah. new pictures for him. <laughs> that's a true story. <laughs> Is there anything you need to plug? Just uh, come come check us out. We are on this tour in May with the Visions, and then uh, starting in June, June 2nd, we'll be uh, on tour with Convictions and a band called Versus from Seattle. Pretty stoked for just being out, being basically being out by ourselves, kind of throwing together some headlining tours. And, uh, We're going on tour with Nickelback, and uh, <laughs> yeah, in, in Britney the, Spears. In the fall, we're gonna do a, a run with uh, the Flaming Lips and uh, Wiz Khalifa. Uh, yeah. Is that a real fl band? Flaming Lips, yeah. They're like an old pop rock band, very hippie-ish. We're going on tour with Flying Penises from Hell. Uh, <laughs> You're dating yourself with that. Title. Yeah. Yeah, Flying Penises. That's dating yourself. You talking about Flaming Lips? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go on tour with the original Beatles lineup. <laughs> All right, thank you. And and Led Zeppelin and oh, we're done. Okay. We're done. <laughs> you can keep going shut up, shut up. <laughs> Queen. <laughs> Anyways, this concludes this interview. Now I will start my own by myself. Spencer, uh, how do you feel about cats? Well, you know, I get this question so often. He does. Uh, I love okay. cats. You know, they're pretty nice. I just want to hug all the cats. You know. <laughs> do you have a cat? I wish I had time. Yeah, of course. Yes, just one. I have cat Please tattoos, seven. man. I got three cat tattoos. That's the cat that he has. This is my kitty. It even has a mustache. It's got a beard life. and a mustache. Yeah, no, she really doesn't, though. She kind of acts like I a dog, know. though. She'll bark and growl. <laughs> she <laughs> does. What's her name? It's Abaddon, but I would just call her Abby for short. Oh. I was watching Supernatural a lot when I named her, so that's pretty much where I got the name idea. I was like, oh, it's the angel of death. Because she's, back when I got her, when she was a young kitten, she would destroy, she would, like, growl at her food. <laughs> Like, you know, one of those No, she does that for no reason. Yeah. They're like just petting her. Like, she's Abby, and she's like, she never attacks, though. And then she'll lick your face at the same time. Yeah. She's like, I love you. 
bitch. Yeah. Bleh. If you ever get a tour bus, you're going to get, like, a tour of cats. We would bring probably all the cats. Every cat we could imagine. That would be the worst idea ever. We'd be like, all right, fans out there, please donate your cats to our bus. <laughs> I, I, that's really a dream of mine. I, I hope to get the truth. To be honest, you guys, I hate music. The, the real reason why I'm in a band is so that Spray I can cats. get big and I can open up my own cat shelter. I'm going to call it Spencer's Academy for Cats. And I'm going to learn yeah. how to train them. That sounds like that's a good idea. Would it idea. smell better or worse without the cats? <laughs> smell oh, better. God. The bus? Yeah, I mean... Uh, you know what? I I would improve the smell. I would hope I would hope if we have a bus, that somebody like the driver would spray some Febreze or something. Somebody would clean it because well, usually if we have a cat or whatever animal, we'll probably take hire care of it. We'll have enough money to hire somebody. To clean you never know, dude. You animal. might be a cheap bastard and not actually. That's true. I probably would hire somebody. I would make Spencer clean it up because he's the one with the idea. I'm the one with the what? With the idea. Oh sure. You're like I want to bring animals. I'm like no, let's not bring animals. Yeah, we'll see. When we get there, we'll let you know how it goes. True. We might try it once. I'm be down to try it once, right? You just gotta try it once. Just try it once. I mean, I've seen bands bring dogs on tours, but I'm not sure what cats we got. We have Nikhil. That should be enough. Yeah. Nikhil's pretty much an animal, so. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. This was fun. Let's keep going. <laughs> 30 more minutes. Fuck it. Let's the show.